What's up, guys? My name is Kov, and we are back with World of Tanks. And, uh, yeah, I got something today. Um, in the ranked rewards. So, what did I get? Um, well, first of all, I can go ahead and change this to that. And to that. It's pretty easy money, honestly. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. We now have more hit points and yeah, faster. And it's achieved in. That was my plan the entire time to do with uh, these. So. Uh, but with that being said, we go ahead and set this primary, and yes, we have another Chinese reward vehicle at tier 10, the 114 SP2. This thing has a 150 millimeter gun that is very accurate, and uh, has quite good DPM as well. Uh, obviously, I don't have a very good crew <laughs> for it, but I do have a, a decent commander, and uh, yeah. So I'm actually going to throw on boosters for this. Um, one, so I can um, start working on the field mods. And two, so I can crew train the shit out of this thing. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to do some live gameplay. And I'm going to tell you how I like this tank, Destroyer. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to get right into it. And I'll see you guys in the first battle. So here we are. In the first battle. Now, I'm going to jump into these battles a little quicker than I normally do in these videos. Um, and actually, like, look for opportunities to actually go to high damage places, right? So, I think uh, the best thing for me is to go south here, since we got the good spot. I thought he had marks of excellence already. I was going to be like, what? <laughs> How's this even possible? I guess technically if you are like the first to 100 battles, you get three marks of excellence, right? There's no way you're first to 100 battles though. And like people have been playing this all night. Holy shit, this thing is slow. Oh my gosh. Not as fast as I thought it'd be. I have not looked at any of those offsets, so. But look at the gun handling. I'm not using a stabilizer on this tank, by the way. I'm using um, rammer, optics, and vents. Optics just got one up. Uh, this is a lost flank already, by the way. But we should still be able to get up here and snipe a little bit um, of damage away before I die. Well, the ultimate goal is to not die here, but... <laughs> what a gun. Here, let me get out of this way. I think the gold lead gamer is uh, confused as to what I'm hitting on that 705. I just shot through his roof. That's so funny. Okay, uh, yeah, no. This tank does not have armor. I don't know how I got spotted there, though. Like, there's nobody up here. Unless there's... There's a mana core right in here. Gotta be. There's our other SP2 is beginning to find. Oops. I didn't know I was still spotted. That's weird. It's a crack wagon down the way. There's an arty shell coming in to kill me? What? Okay, well, that wasn't a great first game.
So, <laughs> a couple of things we figured out so far. Um, with a shit crew like I have, uh, the gun handling is still good. Um, its gun is amazing. Um, the armor is atrocious, and uh, the camo ratings quite bad also. But I boosted my view range just so I could like outspot things, and uh, you know I'm still spotted right here in the middle of nothing. <laughs> so it's gotta be a mana core somewhere up here, or maybe he's down there. But I'll see you guys in the next game. And we're back this time. We are on Pilsen. Don't really know where I'm gonna go here. I think I'm just gonna go out to the field because, uh, well, there's got a lot of tank destroyers in this game. So, uh, I did, I just did some some math, and I think you're actually better off taking Grousers if you want a mobility loadout for this tank. Honestly, I mean, it does so much more than the turbo does for uh, your effectives. Plus, if you have Grousers on it, you have uh, 37 degrees a second traverse speed instead of um, 30. So, there's that. But I just looked at the terrain resistances on this tank, and they are garbage. I'm just going to play out here on the 9-0. This is an interesting tank, to say the least. It's a really cool looking tank though. I do like this design. Uh, even though it's probably entirely fake, considering the 114 is entirely fake. Um, Now granted, uh, one thing that's nice about the terrain resistances is they're all pretty much equally bad. So uh, your mobility is not really gonna change uh, by terrain type. Dude, I love this gun. <laughs> this gun is so nice. Oh my gosh, this reload is kind of quick. I'm just gonna fire one again, hopefully he dies. A crayon. Dude, look at the reload. Holy crap. I just fired. Like, what? The reload is insane. Holy crap. I don't have a bounty rammer or a bond rammer or anything. Just like, the reload's just insane. Eleven point four seconds for a full shell reload on a hundred and fifty two millimeter gun. I was still firing at the, the blocks. Yeah, youth. Big time move there. Um
he'll peek out, right? He's got to. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I believe in you. Yep. Oh, come on. Now the gun misses at like point blank range. I forgot it's the new tank RNG. So, to me, at least, it feels like whenever you're shooting in a new tank, your shells miss a little bit more. Uh, what is that on the other side? That is an E4, so I'll DPM him. Give me the same amount of hit points. I should be able to get two shots off here before he does. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Ooh, free kill. I really wish he wouldn't have hit that shot, honestly. Still looking. Oh wow, that was a fast ass shell. I was like, oh shit, he's still looking. <laughs> How did I get spotting damage for that Jaeger? What the heck? Oh well, well that's a better game. So we're gonna do one more, but that's a more average game for this tank, I think. And holy crap, this thing just does not bounce shells. It's also kind of hard to um, get uh, people to not shoot you when they just want to kill the new tank. Um, so, there's that. And the good thing about this is, is I can play this this tank as much as I want, and uh, it's not going to nuke my stats for another, like, month, so, I mean. I wonder if I can just rush to 100 battles and get three marks of excellence that way. <laughs> That'd be funny. Be the first one to get 100 battles. There's no way, by the way, that I would ever be able to do that first. We'll play one more, and then I will uh, see you guys for the post-game stats. So we'll see you in the next one. And finally, we have a good matchup. How does the SP2 fare against the Tier 8s? Well, they're not going to auto-bend my turret, so that's always good. Um, from across the map, I should say. There's a lot of TDs today, and they're not SP2s, which is weird. But... We're going to try and make it work in the city. Because there's three RDs and I'm not playing Valley. This is basically my reasoning here. Actually, I might start off in the middle. Yeah. Let's see if this T92 knows what it's doing. And he does. And this 430 does not. Oh, maybe he does. He's now stuck. I'm spotted. What? How? <laughs> the 
432 hits that, but I don't. Okay. One of these tanks has insane gun handling and uh, accuracy. There we go. That's more like it. So yeah, this is one of those tanks that you can literally just do this with. Like, you're sitting out in the open, and you can just turn your armor out over to engage your targets to get back to curve as quickly as possible, right? I'm just gonna... Blind fire there and then run. Ooh, Barask. Barret. Barret, Barret, Barret. How is this a fixed battle? We're running on HP. <laughs> Granted, we've lost more tanks, but we're winning on HP somehow, I guess. That's weird. So the DPM's not, like, game-breaking or anything. Like, it's like a tier 10 heavy kind of DPM. But it's still rather nice. And the tank is... I. This is, like my favorite TD uh, design that I've ever seen. Like, this thing is insane. Let me grab the screenshot real quick. This, t <laughs> this game could go to shit, but grab the screenshot before it happens. Uh, now we're losing by HP and we're down four, so that's always nice. Somehow he had an arty die. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, but our team has also taken like all of the map, so uh, it's even better. We have map control and a slight hit point disadvantage. I'm also spotted right here, but I'm not gonna get punished for it. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is gonna be really awkward if I'm still spotted or not. D that dip completely depends on like designated target, right? clap kind of kill. Now this Barask is the only thing that can spot me crossing this. But I don't need to cross it. Okay, I have no damage, but I have zero kills, because they're just sitting sideways in front of me. We're now pretty much even, but we have all the map control. Uh, that Leo could push up in the middle a little more, considering if I go around this corner, I will get spotted by the Barask. So I need to play this a little smarter with how I'm trying to get down this alleyway. Actually, I don't need to go down that alleyway. I just need this Leo to start spotting stuff. I don't know who was spotting their base. I have an Arnie down now. Don't have a shot at the 1 2 1. Or if there's somebody right there. I think there is. <laughs> 
Uh. So you can fire off a shot like that, and then you still have, like, an IS-7 reload. <laughs> this takes insane. It's so weird. It has no armor and has no ability, but the gun is amazing. I really want to kill this Barask. I think he's a run. I think he's not here anymore. Yeah, this cross was free. Yeah, I'm not going like that. That's stupid. I just want to progress the fight. <laughs> There's three kills. I don't die. I do die. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I stole three kills. That's always nice. So, uh, I'm going to be working on equipment setups for this tank during uh, probably a live stream, either today or in the future, <laughs> or maybe I'll just work on it with off live, off stream. Um, so I'll... Try, I'm trying to figure out like the, the best way. I literally just threw my tank away by going over here to kill it already, but that's fine. The stock is not completely brokenly overpowered, which is always nice. I think it's slowed down just enough so that you can't really just one shot tier 8s, or 2 shot tier 8s in 10 seconds. Which is a good thing. Like, it's good. I'm just playing like an idiot. But anyway, I'll see you guys for the postgame stats. And here we are with postgame stats. Uh... Obviously, uh, two shots fired before I died. <laughs> Got spotted in the middle of uh, the back. Uh, <laughs> and died in uh, two minutes on <laughs> Sand River. Not my best session, not going to lie. Um, so yeah, obviously, um, we made credits on this game, which is um, interesting. Oh, I made credits because of a mission. Um, this tank does not make premium tank credits. This is a reward vehicle, so don't expect to make credits. Um, nine shots fired, four hit on uh, Pilsen with 2,400 damage. Could have survived longer if I just didn't peek the Yeguru there, who was just waiting to kill the brand new shiny quote-unquote shiny Chinese tank destroyer, because it is Chinese after all. And then we had Lakeville, which was three kills, um, because they all just kind of drove out in front of me sideways. <laughs> and 900 damage, because uh, nobody on my team is spotting, so I had to try and spot for myself, and then I just played too aggressively and died. So, Good on this Barask, though. Look at that. 10 out of 10 on a Barask. That's not that easy. A tank sniper in a Barask is really kind of impressive. Um, but yeah. So, that's the SP2. It's uh, it's not overpowered. It's, uh, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I think this is a good tank. I just don't think I have the right setup for it yet. And, uh... That'll be it for me. Uh, I'm going to try to get this tank worked on um, 
to like you know figure out like Grouser's turbo what what I need to to I think I'm dropping the coded optics for uh, either Grouser's or turbo I have six turbos for tier tens now um, uh, also maybe a rotation device maybe that helps instead of the vents no I need the vents um, I'm just gonna play around with uh, different things to put on this tank and see which one works the best for me so uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye